Hello and welcome back to my channel. So jumping straight in, I'm using the Sleek uh, Colour Corrector in green as I've just got some redness on my face due to the changing weather. So the green is just going to neutralise the redness on my face just to help even out that skin tone. To prime, I'm using my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and a Beauty Blender. A tip that I learnt from P. Louise to help those pigments pop, I'm not going to be setting the primer. So I'm using the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette and I'm using a Morphe M433 in the colour Ignite and just going to be patting that on the outer corners of my eyes and then just using small windshield wiper motions and circular motions just to blend that out. And then just taking a slightly fluffier brush just to help blend this out. Using the colour Velour and my Morphe M433 brush, I'm just using this on the outer corner just to deepen that up a bit. Now using my Morphe 350S palette and just this gold colour on a Sephora 51 brush just to the inner corner just to add a little bit more colour and a little bit of brightness. Going back in with the M433, I haven't added any more colour here, I'm just using it just to blend those colours together. So I'm now using my Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil in the colour Sabbath just to add a little bit of a winged liner. A quick trick for winged liner is just literally draw a straight line out from the eye and connect the two together. It can be as messy as you like as we've done our eyes first and then just use a cotton bud with some makeup remover just to clean that up. I'm just using a Laura Mercier mascara. Then I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner in the colour Amp and I'm just going to be putting this on the inner parts of my eyeliner. For me this really just makes the look because I absolutely love glitter. For foundation I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NW13 and I'm just using a Real Techniques buffing brush just to blend that into the skin. I really like to spend time blending my foundation in because foundation is such a massive part of your makeup routine. I mean, it covers the most of your face. So I really like to take that time just to make it look flawless. Again, just using a beauty blender with some tissue paper just to remove any excess product. For concealer, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C3. I'm just applying this in triangles under the eye as this is where the sun would naturally hit me and highlight under there. To set that, I'm using my Loose Setting Powder by Laura Mercier in Translucent and I'm only going to be setting under my eyes and my T-zone. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Milk chocolate soleil bronzer just add a little bit of color back into the face and just to warm me up a bit i just like to blend this down my neck a little bit just so it matches my face to add a little bit of definition to my cheeks i'm using the benefit hula bronzer with the brush that it comes with i'm adding this just to the back of my cheekbones um, it was a little bit too strong for me, so you do see me go back in with my bronzer brush just to diffuse that out a little bit. For blusher, I'm just using the Sleek Blusher in Crotchet. For highlighter, I'm using the Sleek Highlighting Solstice Palette in the colour Equinox with my Morphe M510 brush and this has a serious glow. Using what's left on my Morphe M433 brush, I'm just running that under the lower lash line. 
just to add a little bit more shape and definition to my brows, I'm just going in with my H&M Brow Specialist in the colour Espresso. For a more defined lip shape, I'm using my Kiko Milano Smart Lip Pencil in the colour 700. And lastly for lipstick, I'm going in with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the colour Bitch Perfect. So here it is, it's the finished look. I really love this eyeshadow look. It's such a fun, playful, colourful look with a little bit of glitter in there, which makes everything better. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to book a makeup lesson with me or have your makeup done by me, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll leave all my links down below. Thanks again so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.